Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video we'll be casting the spruce cones in resin. Casting the spruce cones in resin is pretty much the same thing as what we did for the Banksia seed pot, so I'm not going to go into detail of every single step. I'm just going to link the video and then you can watch it and find out what those steps are. I'm just going to focus on the major differences and one of the major differences is that I'm casting the pine cones as a whole. Uh, if you remember the Banksy seed pot I cut it in quarters and put it into my forms but if I do the same thing for the spruce cone it's basically going to disintegrate and I'm going to be left with nothing. So I cast them as a whole. As such, my casting container is slightly different. It's cylindrical. And of course, with having a uh, open end on the cylinder, let me see if I can focus it, uh, open end on the cylinder, you know, the resin is gonna flow out. So how do I stop it? And again, I'm using the good old fashioned cling film and a piece of paper towel and the corresponding cap to basically seal the container. And the reason I'm adding all that is to preserve the cap. Uh, if I don't, then the resin will adhere to the cap and that's going to be more wastage. But that way I can reuse the cap for future castings as well. So all I need to do is purchase those plastic containers. The other major difference is that you have to clean the pine cone a lot more than the Banksy seed pot. So the seed pot, you had a finite number of holes and definitely you can blow any dirt out. But these are cylindrical, so you have to go around several times with the uh, air spray tool on your compressor just to get all that dirt and debris out. And even if you spend hours on it, you may still get something that's lodged in there and you didn't know about. So let me clean it up and we'll go to the next step. And now it's time to figure out the amount of resin do we need for our casting. Now I'm going to be doing eight pine cones and I'm going to equally divide them between green color and no color at all. Uh, so that makes things a little bit easier because I can do just one uh, set of calculations and use that same measurement for both our castings. Uh, the difference here is the calculation of volume and in the case of a cylinder if you go back to math class the uh, volume of a cylinder is basically the diameter multiplied by pi multiplied by the height and in my case for height I'm using the length of my longest pine cone and that's about 18 centimeters now this is all going to be again the volume of an empty container uh, but since the pine cone has some solids to it uh, in this case I'm going to be using the 80 percent uh, and that is because as you see the pine cone has a lot more surface area to fill in so uh, based on my calculations uh, I need 380 grams of part A of the resin and 380 grams of part B of the resin for each of the castings uh, and again, uh, this is going to be, uh, once I start mixing in the resin, it's going to be a very uh, time sensitive process and I am going to disconnect the microphone and do this in automatic mode. Uh, if you have any questions, use the comments below and I can try to answer them after. Over 24 hours have passed and now it's time to do the review. Like before, earmuffs, three, two. So what do you think, success or failure? Well, let's take a look. So far they look good, but let's go to the workbench and see how it all looks. Okay, let's see what they look like. These are pretty cool. There might be some clouding up here at the top, but I never really use that top part anyway, so I'm okay with it. And now let's remove the cap. And now I can easily reuse the cap for another casting. 
and let's check the green. So it appears that some of the resin overflowed and kind of they got stuck together but again that's okay because I am cutting those off anyway. Now let's take them to the bandsaw and see what they look in the center. And this is what the spruce cone looks like in the center. Uh, so this is the core of the cone and this is what creates those patterns that you see on the writing instruments right here. If you like this video make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video uploads. Also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.